Today on Zero to Awesome, we got a request from our friends over at Avalon King to do more truck thangs. That's thangs with an A and a Z. So today, we're doing thangs. And specifically, the thing we're gonna do today is make a toolbox for the F-150. Let's take a look at what we're gonna do. So typically, for a truck toolbox, you'd find the ones that just go right back here and they open on the side. But we have this bed cover that is gonna stop us from having a traditional truck toolbox. So then, my next thought was, when you roll up the truck bed cover, you have this space right here that you, you know, can't really get to from the top. And maybe that'd be a good spot for like a little short toolbox. And the company that makes these bed covers actually does sell a little plastic tray that can go right here. But supposedly they're really flimsy. They don't hold up really well. So I was going to make my own, but then it turns out that I actually do wind up like using this space right here. The truck bed in this truck is so small that I wind up just cramming stuff up under here all the time. So that's not really going to work out either. Which led me to my next idea. So this is a 2017 F-150. And since at least 2015, probably going back even further, the Super Crew F-150s have had this really great rear seat layout. So the seats fold up really nicely. The floor is completely flat. You don't have a drive shaft going through the middle there. And there is actually like a little tray right back here that you can put stuff in, which would be great, except I have, I have this baby problem and you can't, you can't get to that all the time. So to solve our toolbox dilemma, what we're gonna do since the seat isn't up, or it's not easy to get the seat up typically, we're gonna take advantage of this really long flat space underneath the seat that is typically unused. And what we're gonna do is build a toolbox right down here. And when I say toolbox, I mean drawer system. So what we're gonna do is make drawers from about here to you know right where the seat ends. I think we're gonna divide them in the middle. That way you come to either side of the truck, pull a drawer out, get to your stuff, and no one will really be able to see it either because it's gonna be hidden underneath the seats. So to make our toolbox today, we will be using wood. Now, I did consider making it out of metal, but I've done a few DIY videos in the past and people are like, I can't weld, this isn't a DIY video. So today, we're gonna use some wood. And specifically, we are going to be using this six millimeter thick, oh God, uh, birch plywood. So yes, it is six millimeters and yes, we are in the US, but this is actually Russian birch, so it's imported, and over there they use the, the MMs. Uh, but six millimeters is approximately a quarter inch thick. So a quarter inch thick wood should give us just enough room to clear our floor mat. And the floor here is kind of curved a little bit, so it's gonna, you know, maybe sit up a little bit. But if it sits all the way down, it should be just enough for the drawer to clear. We'll have to see once we get it in there. So for our measurements, from approximately where the seat ends its curve right here, all the way to the other side is about four feet. So we're gonna make our drawers four feet wide so they're not sticking out the edge here. We're gonna have a divider in the middle at two feet. And there's a couple reasons for that. One, it'll give us two drawers. I did think about making one big long drawer that you can just slide out either side. But if you don't have some sort of brace in there, you're gonna lose your lateral rigidity and then your box is probably just gonna fall over. Plus, I don't use you know an entire drawer's worth of stuff all at once. So two drawers. Uh, it's going to be approximately 11 inches wide, and so we're not going to go all the way out to the very edge here. 11 inches is going to give us two right about here, and that's, you know, just in case you're sitting in the back seat, your feet kind of come back a little bit. You don't want to be kicking something right there. So 11 inches wide. We're going to start four and a half inches tall over on this side here, and then we're going to do seven and a half inches tall over on this side here. So first, we're going to cut some wood, wood build our box, then figure out the top, and then we'll start building our drawers. So let's get to work. So now we have our basic box, except I forgot to do one thing you should not forget to do. And that is on this piece, I forgot to account for the thickness of the wood. So I did cut the bottom a half inch shorter than 11 and a half to allow for a quarter inch size on each side, but I forgot about the top. So we gotta trim that guy down real quick. Then we'll figure out how long, how long of a piece we need for the top. Probably sand these guys down a little bit on a little bit of an angle so everything sits flush. And then we can start gluing and nailing stuff together. 
So to secure our drawer system together, we're using wood glue and finishing nailer with 5 8 inch nails. So if you don't have a finishing nailer, don't worry about it. The nails are really just to hold this toolbox thing together while the glue dries. The glue is really what holds everything together. So if you wanted to, you could, if you were patient, you could just use clamps and wait for the glue to dry. I, however, am patient, so that's why we're gonna be using some nails. You could also maybe get some really small screws or some just, you know, regular uh, nails that take a hammer. That would probably work too. We marked the middle of our drawer where we're gonna put our divider. So we're gonna start with that, add the sides, and then we'll put them on top. So we got the top of our box cut now, but we're not gonna go ahead and attach it just yet. And that is because we've come to the part that I've been debating about for a while, and that is, do we use drawer sliders or not? So these sliders are each a half inch thick. That means we're gonna lose an inch of space on our drawer. We're gonna lose an additional about another half inch of space because of the drawers themselves, the wood on the sides. So that's gonna cut down our 11 and a half inch drawer from 11 and a half inches to about nine and a half inches. Which for me, I think that's probably gonna be okay. I did consider just putting like maybe some nylon strips or something on the bottom of the drawers. That way they just slide in and out. You don't have to use sliders. But I think there's gonna be some kind of heavy stuff in them. The sliders would be nice to have. And I really, I don't think I need drawers that are really that big for all the stuff that I'm gonna try and put in here. So I'm gonna go with the sliders. If they, if it turns out they're not gonna work out, I'll figure something else out. But for now, we're gonna try these. And so these are 22 inch sliders. So yes, our drawers are gonna be about 24 inches long, but you have to remember, we have this divider board in here that takes up some room. You're gonna have a front on the drawer that's gonna take up some room. So you lose a half inch right there. So we need to go with something slightly shorter than two feet. So these 22 inch sliders should fit pretty nicely. So what we're gonna do next is make our drawers, mount them in our sliders, and then we'll get to attaching the top. So it's looking like our sides are gonna be about four inches and six and a half inches tall, just to give us a little bit of room for clearance. And our drawer base itself came out to 23 and a half. Okay, so we finished out our drawers. They're in there, they're sliding. We got our top on. There's a couple more things we need to do though before we can start painting this guy. So we have these latches that we're gonna use. And so these are called 
slam latches. I got them off Amazon. They're really for boats, but I use them on my camper that I made and they're still holding up well. So we're gonna use them here too. So the way these work are, you need about a two inch hole for this to go into. And then there is this little metal tab that you screw into the top of the drawer. And then you pull on your little latch handle here and that releases this guy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the center of our drawer. We're gonna measure down a half inch for this little catch here and then another inch down to find the center of our handle. And then we'll drill a hole, should go right in. Should be easy, we'll see. That is that. The drawers are working as they should. They're latching and unlatching and staying closed. A couple things I forgot to mention about the drawer slides. Uh, so those came with half inch screws and those would have gone right through our wood. So we got some shorter quarter inch screws that we used on those. I also took off these little rubber bumpers that come on the end of the drawer slides. They keep your drawers closed, but since we have the slam latches now, we don't need those. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our Favorite wood putty here. We're gonna go through and cover up all our nail holes. We're gonna do some sanding, make sure everything's nice and flush. And then we're gonna paint this guy. So we're gonna go with a, a black to match the interior of the truck and it's appropriately named Blackout. So that, next. Oh, hello there. It's the next morning. We let the paint dry overnight. And it came out pretty well. I only painted inside the box, basically, as far as I thought you'd be able to see with the drawer open, but we used a, a high nap roller, so it gave kind of a, a little bit of a texture to everything. And it's basically ready to be put back together, but we're gonna do one more thing before we do that. And that is put in some carpet. So this is replacement carpet that came from your overlords at Amazon. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some in the bottom here. And so that will hopefully keep things from sliding around a little bit. And then also this is gonna be, you know, inside the cab of the truck now. So if things are bouncing around, hopefully that'll muffle the noise a little bit. So to do that, we're just gonna cut our carpet to size. And then we're gonna use some spray adhesive to adhere it down. We'll spray it both on the box and on the carpet itself and then slap the two together. And then we'll put everything back together, put it in the truck.
good news, it fits. So we got our toolbox or our drawers up under here. They fit really nicely, they're up out of the way. Can't really see them when, you know, you don't know what you're looking for. But over on this side, we've got our most commonly used tools because we're on the driver's side. Uh, so we've got straps, we've got gloves, hand tools, rubber ducky, don't leave home without him. And over on the passenger side, we've got our less frequently used tools like recovery strap, air compressor, tire patch kit, that sort of stuff. The drawers clear the floor mat pretty well. This one kind of rubs a little bit when you open it. The other one doesn't. Don't know why that is. Maybe they just sit differently. But everything should be, you know, really easy to get to now. So you can grab it when you need it. It's out of the way. You can still carry your baby along for the ride. We'll have to find another home for Old Faithful here, but we'll find something to do with her. And one other thing about these latches, you can get metal versions of these. They're chrome colored, so I didn't want to get chrome for this build, but you can get some with locks in them. So if you wanted to, you know, store your tools that fire projectiles in here, you could make a pretty secure toolbox back here. So how much did all this cost? Good news is this time I actually kept track. So the plywood, we used one sheet, $23. Those slam latches, $15 for both of them. Drawer slides were $16 each, 20 bucks for the carpet, and $11 for paint. I'm not gonna count the glue and the nails, I already had that laying around. So that brings us to a grand total of $101. So about 100 bucks, and that's not bad, because most toolboxes that you can actually buy out there, they cost multiple hundreds of dollars, and I don't think you can even buy any drawer system like this, or at least I wasn't able to find one. So I think we did a good job. So if you like our toolbox drawer thing, make sure you hit that like button. And I have an idea for one more truck thing that, like this toolbox, I don't think you can buy anywhere. So hit subscribe to stay tuned for that. And until next time, here's a hint as to what it's gonna be. It has to do with this bag right here. Anybody know what that is? I think I know a few people who do. I accidentally belt sanded myself a little bit because I didn't use protection like my mom told me to. I've been very, very happy that you guys have been very good about using protection, you know, for your eyes and when you're welding, you know, you've got the face mask. Let it go. I'm not going to let it go.